Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Jum'atun mubarakah. Today we will look into al jam'ah bayna salatayn. This is when a Muslim prayed two different salats at the time of one. In other words, to observe subhi and suri at the time of subhi or zuhri respectively, and so on. It is in unanimity that the jurisprudence scholars concur on impermissibility of combining salat to zubuhi and zuhri and salat to asri and maghrib. But they have different opinion on whether to combine salat to zuhri with asri or salat to maghrib and isha. However, majority of the scholars said it is permissible in the following conditions. Condition 1, if you are in Arafah and Muzdalifah. Because in Arafah, the pilgrims usually combine between the Zuhri and Asri, Jam'an Taqdima. They will firstly observe Zuhri, then they will call for Asri prayer and observe it, because they are on the trip. But in Muzdalifah, they usually combine between Maghrib and Isha, Jam'an Taqiran. They will firstly observe Maghrib, because Qasru is not applicable to Salat al-Maghrib. Then they will observe Isha. This combination of Salat at both Arafah and Muzdalifah is per Prophet Sunnah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Condition 3. In a very long journey, when a Muslim intended to travel to a place where Salat al Qasru could be applied, it is allowed for him to combine between the Zuhri and the Asri or between Maghrib and Isha. Jam'an taqdiman aw ta'akhiran. If he happened to leave his house after Zuhr prayer time, he will combine between the two at Zuhri prayer time. If he left before the sunset, he will combine between the Maghrib and Isha at Ishai prayer time. He will observe Maghrib prayer at Ishai prayer time. Then observe Isha after Maghrib at that same time. And if he left after the sunrise, he is then to combine between the Maghrib and Isha. He will observe a shy prayer at Maghrib prayer time. This is how the Prophet ﷺ usually observes his prayers if he is on a trip. The evidences of this is the hadith of Mu'ash radiallahu anhu. Anna al-Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kana fi gaswati tabuk iza zaagat al-shamsu qabla an yagtahila jam'a mayna al-zuhr wa al-asr wa iza agtahila qabla an taziga al-shamsu akhar al-zuhr حتى ينسل العصر وفي المغرب مثل ذلك إن جابت قبل أن يرتحل جمع بين المغرب والعشاء وإذا ارتحل قبل أن تغيب الشمس أخر المغرب حتى ينزل العشاء ثم نزل وجمع بينهما صلى الله عليه وسلم Condition 4 When it is rainy or about to Hanabila scholars opine that combining between the Maghrib and Isha at the time of Maghrib prayer or at the time of Isha'i prayer is permissible. If the ground is so swampy or very marshy and the rain is heavy, which will make it so difficult for people to reach the masjid. While Malikiya scholars said combining between Maghrib and Isha prayer should be considered both at the time of Maghrib prayer and it should be in the masjid under the same situation, I mean under the above situation. It is narrated by Bukhari radiallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam combined between the Maghrib and Isha on a rainy night. Condition 5. In the time of sickness or when you have a reasonable excuse, Imam Ahmad, Khutabiyyu, Al-Qadi, Bunu Hussain, Bunu Muhammad, Bunu Ahmad, Abu Ali, al marwarusi and Abu Sa'id ibn Abi Sa'id, al-Mutawali and Nizabuqi of Shafi'iya said, combining between two salats, jam'an taqdiman wa ta'akhiran, due to a sickness is permissible, because the pain of illness is more serious and suffocating than when it is raining. Imam Munawawi says, and it is also seen in al mughni the level of the illness that could make a Muslim to combine between two salats is that in which he will encounter difficulties observing every salat at its time. While Hanabila widening their own opinion, stress that combining between salat al-zuhr and asri or salat al-maghrib and isha 
Yakodiman wat yakiron is permissible for those with excuses. A fearful person, a sick person that observing solat as it is time, will require him or her to wash her dress before observing each solat. Walil mustahada, waliman bihi sulsu bowling, walil ajzi anit tohara, waliman khafa an nafsihi au malihi au angidihi. Or a Muslim who is afraid of the harm or damages that will befall him or his life if he didn't combine between those salats. Wallahu a'la wa alim. We are stopping here today. Kindly support us by giving us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next week, Friday, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.